Good morning and happy holidays. I'm Pierce Collins, the winner of Wave TV's Anchoring Competition. And I'm Hershel Richmond. On today's show, we take some look into some local news and get ready for the holidays. Today is Friday, December 16th, and Wave TV starts now. If one more label try to stop me, it's going to be some dread Today in sports news, Saeed Chambers takes a look into the life of Lewis Mulkey, a Somerville High School coach known for leading many young basketball players to victory. Last year, Somerville High School renamed the gym to the firehouse in dedication of Coach Mulkey. Coach Mulkey was one of the nine firefighters killed in the fire of Charleston in 2007. When he wasn't fighting fires, he was here coaching the Somerville basketball team. Many of us have heard about Coach Mulkey as a coach, but not many of us know about him as a person. Ms. Campbell describes him in one word. Um, intense. Um, he loved hard. He had high expectations for his students and his athletes. Um, and he was intense with his discipline, but he was also intense with the love that he shared with them. Coach Mulkey influenced many of his athletes, including Bengals wide receiver A.J. Green. Um, but Coach Mulkey was like, you're just another athlete. You're supposed to catch a football, you catch a football. So what? What's the big deal? And when the drills that Somerville was working with for A.J. were too easy, Coach Mulkey would, went and found other drills that were difficult for A.J. to make him better. Mr. Mulkey cared deeply about his athletes. He made sure he did everything he could to guarantee their success. He kept up with grades, he kept up with their schedules, and he had no problem administering discipline. Sometimes that involved uh, a trip out in the hallway, and um, only those athletes would be able to tell you what was said, but when they came back in the room, they were like a changed person. Mr. Mulkey will be deeply missed by all of us here at Somerville High School. His legacy will never be forgotten. Come out and celebrate his life with the Lewis Mulkey Basketball Tournament at Somerville High School from December 21st to the 23rd. For Wave TV, I'm Saeed Chambers. Thank you, Saeed. Stay tuned for Wave TV for more human interest stories. Next, Seth Buckworth brings us a look into the life of a content creator. And we take a look back at Somerville's dance performance and the Christmas parade. James Moulton is a content creator who attends Somerville High School. Twitch.tv, like live streaming gaming like application. Every day at 6 p.m., he broadcasts on a popular video sharing website, Twitch, where he streams a variety of games. CSGO Squad. <laughs> I play Roblox too sometimes. I get more now. Like lately, I've been getting like 60. Not really, because like I have like two hours after I get home before I start stream, and then I have like two hours after I'm done streaming just to like do more work if I have to. So not like it's maintained well. As a daily broadcaster, James understands the importance of interacting with his fan base. Yes, daily, every day at 6 p.m., like five hours a day. No, four, it's four hours a day. When they talk and chat when I'm live, I talk to them live. So like without your viewers, you're nothing. So it's like a big deal to always interact with them and everything. It's like learn how to do it, do research, and then just like do it. Like it's not that hard. Yeah, I mean, it can be like annoying sometimes because like people can be jerks. It's internet, but like most of the time it's super cool and everyone's super nice. If you want to partake in one of James' streams, visit him at twitch.tv forward slash lestex. For Wave TV, I'm Seth Buckworth. On December 8th and 9th, the Somerville Dance Program hosted the Winter Showcase. Dancers came out and showed off their talent. On Sunday, December 11th, people gathered in downtown Somerville for the annual Christmas parade. Slugs and groups from all around Somerville participated, and the parade went off without a hitch. Thanks to our reporters for that local news. Now, Kat Connolly brings us inside into a new Somerville cafe. In downtown Somerville, a new cafe has opened in the Earth Fair Shopping Center. We are a fast, casual sandwich shop. Me and my wife started it about four years ago, and it's just been going really well, and we became a busy little sandwich shop, and we decided to open our second location up in, up in Somerville. Persimmon offers a variety of special items ranging from paninis, soups, custards, and vanilla lemonades. Persimmon dishes are all natural and have no preservatives. We use a lot of natural meats, uh, natural cheeses, and you know as much homemade as we possibly can. But we're not a Subway and we're not a John Smith Subs. We're kind of like 
more uniquely our flavors, our thing, our style of food. And we just do it between two pieces of bread. That's all we do it in. And then our second location up here in Somerville is in the Earth Fair Shopping Center, uh, 1097 North Main Street, Suite 204. And we have a patio outside, which is really cool. I just try to get people to have a good time and just try to serve people delicious food. And that's really it. Persimmon is open on Monday through Wednesday from 11 to 9, Thursday through Saturday from 11 to 9.30, and Sundays from 11 to 5. Kat Conley, Wave TV. Thanks, Kat. For seniors with early out looking for a place to eat lunch, Persimmon Cafe is 4.4 miles away from the school. That's 12 minute drive. Now we have some Christmas segments to close out the Tay show. First, Eve Katz and Hannah Simmons provide some tits on celebrating Christmas in the South. That's right, and then we bring you a Christmas carol, but with an SHS twist. The holiday season is approaching in the low country, and that means that the temperature gets just below 60 degrees. It's time to bust out your scarves, Santa hats, and your lawn chairs. I'm Christmas Eve. And I'm Hanukkah. We may not have a snowy Christmas like most dream of, but we can still celebrate it in our own southern way. And by southern, that means we can still get festive in 80 degree weather. And here's how. First off, you can actually go sledding. Just find a large hill and either roll or scoot down it. If you want to go faster, you can bring a piece of cardboard, but afterwards you might want to throw your clothes in the wash because you'll get some grass stains. No snow? That's no problem. Find a sandy area, just lay down, and proceed to make a beautiful snow angel. Your results may vary. Just because it isn't summer doesn't mean you can't catch some rays. This winter, you can stunt your golden brown hands. The holiday season is the time to show off your Christmas threads and still keep that summer glow. Ever wanted to have a snowball fight but it's too hot to snow? Pick up some sand and hurl it at your friends. No, don't do that. It's actually pretty painful. You can take someone's eye out. From Wave TV, Merry Christmas. And Happy Holidays. Christmas carols have been a holiday tradition for ages, but this year we've decided to deck the halls in our own Christmas feral. If you are late to seven, go to ISS. If you are late to seven, go to ISS. If you are late to seven, go to ISS. Get to class early. We warned you before. Don't be late anymore. We warned you before, so now you have ISS. There's Chick-fil-A outside of Farrell's office. There's Chick-fil-A outside of Farrell's office. There's Chick-fil-A outside of Farrell's office. Get some before they sell out. No leggings or jeans, I think I might scream. We warned you before, so now you have ISS. You must have your ID to eat. You must have your ID to eat. You must have your ID to eat. You, to eat. you can't charge anymore. No phones in class, I shouldn't have to ask. We warned you before, so now you have ISS. No headphones in the hallways, no headphones in the hallways, no headphones in the hallways, so please take them out. Good tidings we bring to you and your king. Good tidings on Christmas and a happy new year. Have a happy very fair Christmas, Somerville. Oh, I like it. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Lily Nugabauer. That's all for today. Remember to tag your photos with hashtag WaveTV to end up on the show. Reporting for WaveTV, I'm Horst Richmond. And I'm Pierce Tom. Have a fun and safe break, some of us. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingles, bells, 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 bells. Piano in the bell, 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 bell